back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on hall Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter You might be slightly crooked now Okay, back to me, thank you Hello, hi, it is Okay, apparently I'm just gonna have to hold you today Um it is Monday, the 8th, the day of the, hold on, hold on, hold on, I have it on my phone here, the eclipse, of which, you know, I put the live feed on for my daughter so she could watch while I'm gone to the store, should she actually wake up. <laughs> to not sleep through it um it is way too warm out here because it is 60 hold on I'll tell you in a second 68 degrees y'all yeah, know i don't like anything above <sighs> above 60 but really 55 it's too warm um but above 60 is it's just just too warm for me um yeah, I don't like it out here. Uh, so I'm on the way to the store. I'm going hungry, which is really a bad idea, but there's no good options in the house to have eaten before I left. So um, I will talk more about my weekend on the next update. I just wanted to say hello and welcome to the day of the total eclipse of my heart i can't actually sing the actual melody because youtube will ding me but y'all know the song anyway i shall i should probably go to the post office first because i'm not gonna feel like going to the post office after the store yeah, there's probably nothing even in there but i guess i won't know until i go check anyway oh, i might also need gas and that's a thing Bank of America still hasn't fixed the error, so I don't know how I'm gonna get it. Anyway, I'll be back. When there's no shelter to hide, when everything is a lie, you'll find that out in some time. But when the things on your mind are all considered a crime, communication aside, we'll all just fight till we die. Is this an argument or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it. Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this. I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this. Is this an argument or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it. I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we were Okay, it's almost 5 o'clock I still haven't eaten So, it's not going to be much of an update I read a lot this weekend Which was great actually Um, I beta read um, Tiff's book And then I read the rest of my James Patterson book That I was finishing up and between the two, I think I read over 200 and some pages this weekend, which is a lot for me because I'm not a fast reader and I'm usually not able to get that much read in a full weekend, but it was great. I love it. Tiff's book is amazing. Comes out tomorrow, which by the time you guys see this, it'll have already been released. So her link will be in my description box. So make sure you go get Tiff's books. Um, the Jewel Agency series is amazing. I swear they just keep getting better. I, I keep trying to pick a favorite. I'm just going to wait till the series is done and then I'll pick my favorite because I, I have no idea. It just keeps getting better. Um, I did my video. I took a, I did a workshop on marketing um, to try to gain some more tools. And yeah, that was about it. I didn't get to start crocheting like I wanted to. Uh, mostly because I was just mostly reading um, but I'm super hungry I'm in pain I'm annoyed by this car who left me practically no room to park in this tiny little spot that I managed to parallel park my way in 
gosh i'm an excellent parallel parker but anyway um yeah i will update later and yeah bye Oh boy, okay. Well, well, I'm so tired. Hold on. One second. Ooh. Oh, strange things are happening where the cracks are. <laughs> oh, okay, so. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I don't even understand how I'm functioning at the moment. I just fixed some rice um, to go with the rest of what we had for dinner last night. For her, I am not. I had a really, really super late lunch, like almost six o'clock. So I don't foresee me. Uh, well, I might eat something later. Like an, I bought two apples. Um, cause I try not to buy the bag of apples cause they always end up going bad anyway. Plus there's really no space in the refrigerator for it. But I have plenty of hydration. <laughs> I bought me some lemon to put in my water. So I have... Oh, it's, oh, it's so much better with a slice of lemon in there. But also, because I've been really curious, the sparkling water. And this is mango bubbly. Mango flavor with other natural flavors. So it says. Anyway, I'm hoping I like it because I bought the whole case. Eight cans? It's only eight cans, but that would be wasteful if I don't like it. Could it grow on me? I don't know. You know, this is like, I don't know what attempt this is with me and sparkling water, but, and I had the Canadian sparkling water, which is really good. <sighs> Maybe I need a third sip, hold on. Maybe my palate is tainted by the lemon water I just had. Number four, hold on. Nope, it's just not that great. It's fine. You know, it's fine. I can figure out something to do with it. If I just mix it with maybe some lemon, something. Mix it with some lemonade. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Mm. But for now, this is going to go over there. Far, far away from me. <laughs> I'll dump it later. Or maybe I'll dump it in my cup when, the, when I'm finished with the water. Maybe the lemon will help it taste better. <sighs> lemon water. Okay. I'm getting ready to, one, enjoy the bed to myself for like a hot minute while she's eating dinner. And two, watch, no, I have to write a review for Tiffany's book and watch some YouTube videos because my brain hurts. My everything hurts. I'm recovering from the store and I imagine I will not be going anywhere tomorrow because I will still be recovering from the trip to the store, my brain hurts. My legs are feel like they're on fire. I realized I forgot onion. Not, well, I have red onion, but I used that for my salad. But I suppose I could use red onion and I'm fixing tacos tomorrow. So I guess I can use red onion in that. <sighs> so good to meet in. Yeah, I'm tired. And I'm gonna just 
Bookshelf Land. Did I mention the book I'm currently reading? Because I finished the James Patterson book. I might have showed it earlier this morning, but Riley Sager, Home Before Dark. I'm only on page 12, but it's starting off really good so far, so. I'm going to attempt to do something. I, I feel like this day is a loss if I don't do something productive. I know I shouldn't feel that way. I know getting food is productive. It's adulting. It's things that have to be done, but I mean, as it pertains to my writing stuff or just anyway, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, I'll be back perhaps to wave goodnight to you. But I'm gonna wind down. You'll probably see a lot of me winding down. I'll be back for a hot second. Bye. also 2.10 in the afternoon. As you can see, I ain't going anywhere. I am currently working on my newsletter while on Stig and Kelly's stream and trying to at least get something done today. Although I'm thinking I need to go fix some lunch. So I may get ready to do that. I'm going to try to get a little, through a little bit more of my newsletter. And then I don't know what else I'm going to do today, but we'll, I'll figure that out. Just thought I'd come on and say hello. Um, before I forget and end up being 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Ignore the, the messiness of my hair and all that stuff. Anyway, I shall be back with some kind of update. Hopefully that I've finished my newsletter and scheduled it. of the day more else do I want to what have I done all day you ask you didn't ask but I'll tell you I've worked on my newsletter yeah that's it oh this is not starting out as a great week But I, I did work on my newsletter. I think I have everything done for it to, oh no, there's one section I have to finish. Oh crap, okay, I thought I had everything done. I did not. But as soon as I finished this one little section, 
I should have everything to insert into my Substack and schedule my newsletter. I can probably schedule it for tomorrow, so that'd be good. <sighs> then I'm gonna type up some stuff um, on my outline for Project Betty. But have I done what I'm supposed to be working on? Good question is what am I supposed to be working on? Because I am supposed to be doing camp with my collection. But I'm on the fence about my collection because you remember last week I said that I might have to push it back because it's kind of tapping into some emotions I don't really want to tap into and then I changed my mind the next day and was like well but we should tap into those emotions it's therapeutic it's healing along those lines I didn't say those words but along those lines but now I'm just like I'm back on the other side like but right now I have some other things I want to get out and it, it halts my process on those other things if it takes me back to a dark place that I don't really want to go right now maybe not I mean no I was about to say no one knows the actual release date that I had planned for Scars I've collected a long way but everybody does know I had planned for it to come out in June so if I push it back that won't happen I don't know I'm just not I I don't know if I'm as ready as I thought I was to work on it because it's all of my poetry collections are personal. They tap into deeply rooted emotions. And the first three books were more about, well, the first three poetry collections were more about heartbreak and heartache as it pertains to mostly love. Yeah, some heartbreak from, you know, like friendships or my childhood stuff trickled into those collections especially the last one but this one would be for predominantly about childhood drama issues a lot of a lot of self-reflection stuff and I was ready to work on it before my life crumbled and fell apart um but I don't know that I'm worthy to work on that now given everything that's happened and the fact that I am not back on track yet and things are not okay yet as much as some days I like to pretend that they're okay they're not as much as many days as I'd like to pretend that I'm not a little bit depressed I am I just don't want to go full-blown depressed mode and fall into a really bad bout which I'm kind of I don't say nervous but a little I'm kind of thinking if I push myself to work on this collection it could make me go down that route and knowing myself the way that I do, I'm not sure I should do that because I have two other novels that I would like to release this year. Two other ones. Um, one is pretty much ready to go to an editor and another beta reader. The other one needs to be re-outlined and rewritten, but that's not there, not there. And then I have my, my book for writers who self-sabotage, like inspirational type of thing, which that would probably just be motivating to work on but this collection this collection is very personal it stirs a lot of deep emotions and I just don't know that I'm ready for that right now so, I don't know I'll get back to you on that but for now I'm working on the newsletter and then I'll work on some project Betty stuff a little bit but I'll be back later Bye. that is really great why is it bright like that? You would think I have a ring light on and I don't have a ring light anymore. So mm. anyway, bye.
I'm going to say good night now. I will update or give a better update tomorrow when I'm able to give a better update. Good night. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface It makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning That's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds are put the work in We got some work, man I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through get through this life is a nuisance time. oh hello hi it is far too late for this to be the first time i'm coming on to say hello to you it's 4 47 in the afternoon after all i don't know i just didn't feel like doing a whole lot of talking earlier um i as you saw i went to the coffee shop i did not work on what I'm supposed to be working on this month for Camp Nano. I'm not officially saying I'm putting my collection on hold, but maybe. I worked on Project Betty today, and I'm typing up some of the outline. Good lord, you're coming down this street fast. This is a side street. That's probably not a good idea. Anyway, um, yeah, I worked on Project Betty, which I know is my fun project, and um, it's kind of my, I get to work on something fresh and new sort of thing, which I kind of miss doing. Oh, so that is my, because I think I said last week that I missed drafting, but technically, or I miss coming up with something new, and I guess I just didn't count this project ready because technically no one will really know it's me um which is fine I'm fine with that I, I that's how I wanted it but I didn't compute that in terms of oh I am working on something fresh and new like outlining and doing the whole brainstorming different other series down further line further down in the line of the series um so I am doing something new so I I have that that little new freshness and bonus that no one will really know it's me so it's kind of like I can do everything incognito um in the shadows anyway uh, but yeah I tried to work on an essay again um, yesterday it's just it just wasn't um how should I say? It wasn't happening without 
me feeling a lot of things I didn't want to feel. So <clears throat> I'll get there eventually. It just is clearly not going to happen when I, I'm, the collection's not going to come out when I wanted it to because there's no way I don't think I can get it out by June unless I like really start cranking out some, because a lot of the poems, I mean, I have a lot of poems that are finished, but quite a few of the the ones I'm really excited to be in the collection aren't finished. Like, there's still some finessing that needs to be done. Some of them I wanted to add a few more lines to. And then the essays, I've started a few of them. I just haven't been able to get through the entire essays. So, yeah. Anyway, all of that was to say, I think I'm just going to focus on the novels that I want to come out this year, which is Weight of Her, When Love Calls, and then I need to start re-outlining her own separate life. I just don't know which version to go with, because y'all remember, in her own separate life, and I don't remember what vlog this was or what video this was, it might have been a whole separate video and not a vlog, that I read both beginnings of her own separate life, and there was a few in the comments to tell me which beginning they liked better but I'd have to figure out which video that is to go back and see oh lord that that's that's a lot uh, but there's two two versions I started one version of her own separate life and I got a good distance into it and then I was like oh this is crap and maybe I should write it this way and then I thought of a whole different way to start it and whole different angle for it it's not vastly different but it's a little different it's different enough and so I started that one but I didn't get that far into that one before I started thinking maybe I should go back to the first version and then I was just kind of I put both of them to the side and, and just did nothing with it but I was really excited to write that one because it's kind of a more of a which would be kind of different for me and maybe that's why I was struggling with it so much maybe I wasn't the writer I am today when I started that either of those drafts but it's kind of like a I don't I guess a mafia romance type of deal which I would have never <laughs> lined up with me but for some reason I had the idea for the story and I was really excited about it then but I don't think I had the, the tools and the proper craft and, and, you know, we as writers, we get better with each project we work on and project we write, our writing gets stronger and um, we gain more tools and more knowledge in our craft, which makes our writing better. And I just don't think that I had the proper tools. Oh, is that Storm? Oh, I don't think I had the proper tools um, at the time, oh, it is Storm. Hold on, wait, one. You gotta see Storm. Okay, where was I? I'm sorry, I had to see Storm. Um, where was I? So, I don't think that I had, I don't think I was, hmm, I'm not saying that I was a bad writer when I started either of those drafts. But I definitely think I'm a, I'm a better, more evolved uh, writer now. So maybe I, I'm ready to write it now. Maybe I wasn't ready to write it then. <sighs> that fact remains. I still need to figure out which version to go with. Or maybe I just start a whole, oh God, a third version. Anyway, I'm still going to need to re-outline some things. A mafia romance. Oh my gosh. That's different. That's very different, but I like it. Um, I'm liking it. Anyway, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. This week, I just feel, I feel off this week. And I don't know if it's my lack of sleep that's catching up with me really bad. But it's just, I don't feel like doing much of anything this week on anything to be honest um I, I can't really explain it I just I mean I'm pushing through and doing the things 
well, I'm doing some things. I'm definitely not doing the things I was supposed to be doing because I was supposed to be working on the collection. Um, and then I was struggling with the fact that I wasn't working on the collection and what I really wanted to work on was Project Betty. And so I wasn't letting myself work on Project Betty because I was feeling guilty for not working on the collection because that's what I said I was supposed to be working on. And really what I really should be doing is going through start going through the one beta reader feedback that I got from the way to her but I really kind of want to go through and I know it's going to be overwhelming but I kind of want to wait until I get edits back from Morgan and then go through all of the feedback and the edits together which sounds overwhelming and daunting but I feel like I will better be able to assess how to like if there's any revision needed like how to best revise taking in all of the feedback I don't want to read one set of feedback and then have to wait on the rest and the edits and then you know start thinking I'm a, I can rework it this way and then the edits say something different I'd rather just kind of gel all of the feedback together and figure out what's working what's not working what needs to be changed if there's any plot holes fix this here I just rather do it all together and that's just kind of, I work better doing it all together in a big chunk instead of bite-sized chunks, should I say. So I'm kind of waiting on all of that. And then there's the way to her, and I kind of want to send it to another beta reader, maybe another two beta readers, I'm not entirely sure, um, before I delve into that and... I'm not going to be able to send that to an editor just yet. We're going to at least get two novels out this year. Come hell or high water, I'm going to get two novels out this year. Even if that means my collection doesn't make it out this year. And you know, in all honesty, it may not be meant to. I just know it's not happening now as far as the collection. I don't... I just can't tap into those emotions now. I thought I could, but I cannot. And I know it may not seem like it on here a lot of the times, but my mental health is kind of teetering some days as it is. And I just really don't need, as my wonderful good friend Esther, and my other wonderful good friend Deidre said in the comments on my last vlog it, it's not worth um, pushing myself in a bad mental state into a bad mental state just to get the collection out and they're right it's, it's not because you know, I'm trying to keep sinking into a really bad bout of depression and some days it's harder than others and I don't need anything to make it harder and yeah I'm just not I don't think this is the right time to work on that as much as I want to as much as it was planned to I don't know that it's the right time to and sometimes as authors we have to figure out what's the best time for what particular project so yeah God, is that me saying I'm putting it on hold? I have no idea. This is a really long random clip. I'm going to get ready to go in so I can prepare for the stream. And I'll be back later sometime. I don't know when. Okay, so this is me coming to say goodnight. It is 1.28, so y'all know I'm not actually going to sleep yet. But I might actually go to bed earlier than I normally do. Maybe. Um, yes, what you hear in the background is Candy Crush. I am still playing some games. 
Um, I'm winding down. I did work on my project Betty outline a little bit during the stream. Um, ooh, sorry for the shakiness, but I didn't feel like getting the tripod, so I'm holding you. Oh, I need to... I, I, my newsletter is actually put together. I just need to put it on Substack and then schedule it to go out or send it out, whichever. So I think I'm going to work on that tomorrow. I have some beta reading to do tomorrow. And we'll talk about the state of my... Well, I think we talked about the state of my camp earlier. Uh, that I'm putting the collection aside for for now. I think I'm focused on Project Betty because my goal was to start releasing under Project Betty this year, in the back half of this year. But it would be a good idea to actually start writing those books. Now, they'll be shorts, so not full-length novels, easier to write. But in some ways, writing short is harder for me because I'm such an overwriter. Um, I like to put a lot into a book, which must be an editor's dream or not, depending. But, um... Yeah, I need to get started on those. Um, I wanted to, my process with that is I wanted to outline several of the books first and then write several of them in the first, hopefully I want to get the first two series written and completed before I even start releasing the first book so that I can have a good amount stacked up so I won't be like, driving myself crazy as I know I would do if I didn't um ideally I would like to have more than that written before I start publishing the first one but at the very minimum the first two series I would like so we'll see um I've outlined the first series so I just need to outline the second series and then I can get started writing those um gosh my scar hurts I don't know I've never had surgery before so if anyone who's had surgery does the scar that's left behind from the surgery does it just randomly hurt out of nowhere sometimes because sometimes like I mean I try to keep it I know they told me to keep um the area that the scar is in from the surgery um I guess uh it's the word that they I don't know I forgot the word they used they didn't use lotioned up but um moisturized I guess that wasn't the word they used either but they basically you don't told me not to let that area get too dry um but as someone who's never had surgery I'm like I don't is this normal like this from time to time the scar will just hurt like it'll just be like a um a pang of pain there as if I don't have enough pain going through my body already anyway anyone who's, anyone who's had surgery let me know is that normal <laughs> is the scar supposed to just randomly I don't, I don't know where it hurt um anyway but yeah it hurts right now so anyway that's it I don't know where I was going with this but uh, randomness I'm gonna go now I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello, it is Thursday, the, the 11th, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, the 11th, it's 2 o'clock, I needed to come to the store to get some things I forgot on Monday, um, mostly being the hot dog buns because we're having hot dogs this weekend, so having the buns would be helpful, 
and some stuff she had asked me to get that I got most of what she asked me to get my daughter but I forgot some things so since I forgot the hot dog buns anyway coming to get the other things she forgot I, I forgot I'm sorry she didn't forget anything I did anyway um, and then my mother asked me to get a couple things for her so I'm trying to remember to get those um did I get I don't know I got it I guess I got a decent amount of sleep last night I kind of fell asleep um on the stream I was watching and then I woke up put all my stuff up and then went back to sleep so it feels like I got a decent amount um more decent for me more decent than I've been getting lately although my daughter I had her cracking up last night because apparently I was delirious with lack of sleep because I just kept saying stuff that didn't make any sense and nonsense and I was just talking to her and she said I was just talking about random things and she didn't know where they were coming from or what I was talking about for the most part I was like see this is what lack of sleep does mm -hmm. I don't even remember having those conversations at this moment with her. Anyway, um, so let me go in here so I can hurry up. And then I want to go by Starbucks because um, a lovely person gifted me with some Starbucks gift cards, um, one for each week of, Na of Camp Nano. And um, so, yes, I would like to get me some Starbucks and uh, I'm starting to wish I had brought my computer bag but that, I just didn't feel like carrying it today so I need to hurry up and get back because I have stuff I need to do I need to get my newsletter uh, uploaded to, well not uploaded but I need to input the stuff on Substack and then schedule it to go out and then I need to, it was something else I needed to do. I'll work on my Project Betty outline. And um, there was something else that I can't remember right now. Anyway, I'll be back. I'm hungry. Oh, no. Mm, I shouldn't. But I have leftover. Anyway, I'll be back. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said no, man, I still go Go, 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 go I'm coming to you from the bed for however few minutes that I have it to myself. Um, I'm tired. I also haven't eaten. Unless you count peanut butter M&M's. Um, I'm just probably gonna fix dinner earlier than I had initially planned. So I can eat that. I'm just fixing salmon and some broccoli with rice for the child yeah I'm tired and I still have stuff I need to do but right now I'm just I am going to read for the next few minutes that I have the bed to myself okay still coming to you from the bed however um after that last clip I was gonna go read I read like maybe a page before I 
doze off for like a hot second, literally a hot second. And um, then I, my daughter came back and took up her side of the bed. And I went to go over there to sit at the computer and try to get something done, but it just wasn't happening. So I came to my side of the bed and laid down and proceeded to take about an hour nap, which felt great. All of this, mind you, was on an empty stomach. I had not eaten, <laughs> which is probably the real culprit of my low energy. Well, I mean, lack of sleep probably has something to do with it, but... I hadn't eaten today, so anyway, so I took the nap. I woke up, it was after seven, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go fix dinner. And I feel so much better now. I had some salmon and some roasted broccoli, and <sighs> I was right with the world again. I had a nap. Ooh, I forgot what naps felt like. Oh, that was amazing. It's only an hour. I could have probably used another hour. But I'll take the hour that I got. It was great. And now I feel like I'm ready to work. Well, how much work? To be determined. I have a newsletter to schedule so it can go out. And I have some beta reading that I really need to get to. Um, I also want to work in Project Betty to finish typing up the outline. And go on to do the next series outline. Because when I finish typing up the outline... For book five in the first series then I'll have all of the first series outlined and I can start outlining the second series I know you might say well why not just go ahead and start writing the first series <sighs> it's a method to my madness I know it might not make sense to anyone else but it, it's just what I need to do so um but I'm gonna hmm maybe I'll read a chapter in the beta reading and then I'll outline a little bit We'll see how much I have the energy to actually get done because it's 9.25 and I mean, I do have the rest of my, my soda, which has a good amount of caffeine in it, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, for now I'm going to go work on the newsletter and yeah. ahead and say good night here I'm not actually going to bed just yet in fact they may show a few more clips of you know me winding down but um well I still have to type up some stuff in my outline but as you see I've gotten distracted with playing some games which is my normal at night to kind of get my mind to wind down um, and every now and then I'll go back and do some work, but I did schedule my newsletter. So I got that in there and scheduled, um, to go out at eight o'clock in the morning and I've done some reading also. Uh, yeah. oh, I think that's it. Okay. I'm going to say goodnight and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be born Oh, hello. Hi. Hold on. Oh, this light isn't great. But, hello. Um, I come to you from the room. Um, in the house.
house. I'm in the house. I didn't go anywhere as I think I said I was I'm gonna go anywhere yesterday. Um Yeah, two days in a row needs a bit of recovery time. And okay, so I do have my list of what I need to do today. I've gotten one thing checked off of my list already, which is I put my exclusive content on my Patreon post up. Um, I'm actually thinking about, and this might be putting more work on myself, as I tend to do, but I'm actually thinking about creating some kind of serialized work just for Patreon. Um, I'm putting my flash fiction that I had wrote over there for now. Um, my daughter actually gave me a really great idea last night. I don't know if y'all heard of that outside, but someone's mad at someone out there. Anyway, um, my daughter actually gave me an idea last night about, um, she asked me, have I ever filmed my video editing process, the process of me editing my blog video basically um and I'm like no no I've never filmed the entire process like I've shown clips in my blog of me putting the clips into the video editor but I've never like shown the whole process so I'm like oh maybe I could do that for my patron members um like literally show me editing my video from start to finish I'm not sure how that would go but because the biggest problem is me remembering to do it <laughs> so but I'm like oh that's a great idea um, the windows open so it's lots of sounds from outside um, but yeah I'm getting ready to do what am I getting ready? oh type up some more of my outline and then I'll think about having lunch and then I have some beta reading I need to do which I take very seriously. It is an honor to be asked to beta read. <laughs> so, oh uh, yeah, I wanna get that done. And I wanna devote the time it needs to be done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go, mostly because I have to go to the bathroom at the moment, and I'll be back. did the week and this has been a really weird week I'm not entirely sure what was going on with me productivity wise I don't feel like I can look at some of the things that I ticked off and got done but I still don't feel like I got anything or enough done um what I had set out to work on this month isn't panning out um, the collection. So now I have to redirect or change course. Um, hmm. And it, I guess it just, it wasn't what I had planned to work on. Um, but you know, these things happen. And luckily we writers have bunches of stories that we can work on or things in this case project Betty um so I'm finish up finishing up the first the outline for the first series which I'm almost finished I've 
gotten up into the epilogue and have to ep out outline the epilogue in book five of the first series. And then I'll start on the second series. Um, I have some beta reading that I have to make to do. Um, I have my... As you saw earlier, I was writing out my list for the weekend. So I have my list all made out of what I need to get done for the weekend. So, yeah. Hopefully I can manage some type of self-care activity in the midst of that weekend. Um, but, weird week. Why is the light like it's making up for the fact that I don't have a ring light. <laughs> um, we're weak for me, and I did get stuff done. I got the newsletter, video. I got some stuff posted on my Patreon, some new exclusive content. I'm going to work on getting more on there, because apparently you're supposed to post on there every day if you want to actually... I don't know. I've been thinking about like writing a whole special like serialized story just for Patreon. Um, but again, I'm just thinking about things. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. Um, I really want to divert some of my attention to Patreon because I'd like some new patrons. And I'd like to keep the ones that I have. So, you know, trying to do my best in all areas. I was about to say balls that I'm juggling. But yeah, my areas of my creativity. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I post videos on Mondays. I live stream on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As per usual, if you would like to be supportive of me in any of my creative endeavors, such as my blog, my online magazine, my online store, my Kofi page, or my Patreon, or by buying my books, all of those links can be found in the description box below. Also, the Google form to sign up for Author 2 Poetry Over Mike Night, hosted on Morgan Lee's channel this time on April 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. It's also linked down below. Once again, the diary is now available on Kindle Unlimited. So if you haven't read that yet and you would like to read it and have a Kindle Unlimited subscription, please go check that out. Um, yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves and have a blessed day. Bye. Place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to a day.